Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I've got a box to open. I know exactly what this is, because I read who it's from. And guess what? I have this strange <laughs> streak of, of winning a statistical anomaly <laughs> of giveaways on Instagram and otherwise, specifically in the knife community. I've never been an overly lucky person for, like, raffles and stuff like that in general. In fact, in raffles, I'm still not very lucky. I don't think I can recall a time where I've won a knife raffle. But with giveaways, I've won a few, and I don't know how it keeps happening, but Sharp and Pointy Swags, Swags herself, did a giveaway of a ProTech CQC7, I think it is. It's the Emerson model, and it's the G10 one, and it's really cool. We're going to bust into it. But I want to say a huge thank you and a shout out to her for doing that giveaway, and thank you to the universe for selecting me, because if you know me, I love Protex. In fact, in my pocket already, literally when I went to the mailbox, already in my pocket, was my Protec Malibu, because I adore this knife, and I have been absolutely loving it. So, it seemed fitting that I open it with this one, but yeah, it's, I'm, I'm so stoked, because I've loved every Protec I've ever had, or at least strongly liked. This one I love, but I've had a few, I've had a couple autos, now I've had a couple of manuals, and uh, I just, I really, I like their knives quite a bit. And I am stoked about this. So, let's see what we have here. Old school Protec box. I like that. We'll throw back to the past. And it looks like she wrote me a note. That's sweet of her. Awesome. Just a thank you note specifically from her. Very, very cool. Also, shout out to her because I have been seeing the last couple of days on Instagram, she's made a couple of posts um, of knife collaborations she's done where she's designed or at least helped to design a couple of new knife models that are coming to market relatively soon from what I can see. So that's really, really cool. Um, so if you haven't seen those projects that she's done, I know I saw one with CJRB and I think that one was like a front flipper from the looks of it. it looked like kind of a small chunky little thing. It looked pretty cool. And the only CJRB I've ever had was really nice for the budget blade that it was. I've got videos on that. It was a CJRB Tala that I got from River's Edge Cutlery a ways back. And then the other one I saw that she was working on is a, I think it was Kaiser, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost certain it was Kaiser. And it looked like it was a button lock flipper which is one of my favorite things, if it's done well. <laughs> um, so it looked really cool. I think I even saw she did an action video with it. and it's just some, some cool things that she seems to be working on. So check her out if you haven't. I'll link to her Instagram down below and to her YouTube channel because I just subscribed to her over there not long ago. She's making really cool knife videos as well. All right, let's see the knife, shall we? So in here, this is... I remember these boxes, but I had forgotten about them until this jogged my memory because I've gotten so used to their new packaging. This is kind of cool to have an older Protec box. I'm sure those of you who've been buying Protecs for a long time will remember them well. But yeah, it's got this little pamphlet in there as well. Got a bunch of knives on the back of it. I've just been really, really digging Protec lately. It's got this awesome pouch as well. I'm not a carry a knife in a pouch kind of guy, but if I felt the need, now there's a pouch, and it's a great way to store it, too. Oh, sweet. Very, very cool. Yeah, so this one has a G10 show scale, which, if you know Protec, I just realized I kind of matched my shirt to this knife as well. I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> if you know Protec, you'll know that their most common handle scale material is to just do all aluminum. And so this one is interesting that it's this blue G10, but it's like a black surface layer G10, so they've milled this texture into it, and it's almost, it looks kind of like diamond plate to me, but it's got a really, uh, not aggressive in that it's like harsh or sharp, but it's it's got a lot of texture to it. Feels really cool. The kind of bolster section is more like a, like a almost polished G10. It's nice and smooth. Sorry, it keeps focusing on my eye. Anyway, that feels really nice. Clip side, 
we've got, uh, this is a, a pretty typical clip for them, I think, although maybe, no, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know if this is, like, the models that came out around this time. Lately, they use a lot of their deep carry clip, which I prefer. That's my favorite style clip from them. But this, it might be like an Emerson-shaped clip, if I'm not crazy. I don't know. I'll have to find out. I'm sure someone can let us know in the comments. But anyway, it's not going to carry deep with this clip. I think there are some deep carry clip options that fit this pattern. It might even fit with like a Benchmade mini deep carry or something. I'll find out. I'll play with that. Although first I want to see how it does with this clip. Maybe I'll just like this enough that I'll want to keep this on it. So shall we see how it fires? Obviously it's just button operated here, out the side, snap. <laughs> yeah, Protex. Protex autos have a way about them, just like their manual flippers have a way about them. Protec just, there's something about the way they dial in an action. This is very, very cool. I don't know how much cutting she would have done with this, but it has a very nice edge on it. Still nice and sharp. It doesn't appear to be like beat on or anything like that. I don't think anyone's been doing any torture testing on this knife. It's very nice, 154 cm. You got the Emerson logo on this side, which is cool, laser etched in. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you because of the stone washing. Hopefully that comes through. And on this side, let's see, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> it says <clears throat> CQC 7A, I'm assuming A means auto, Protec USA. PR6, which means production run 6. I now know that because I'm becoming more familiar with how Protec numbers knives. So it's production run 6, knife number 165. So that's what we've got on this side. This is a pretty dramatic stone washing, too. It's funny, I've always kind of been hesitant about stone washing just because I feel like I, the ones that I've had, like acid stone wash, they seem to be prone to showing wear more quickly than satin blades. But lately I've had a couple of really, uh, just kind of better examples of really good stone washing. And I feel like this is actually going to hide wear really well with how kind of aggressive that stone washing is. Let's see if I can get it to pick up the light. Come on, focus. Come on. There it is. That's an aggressive stone washing. I think it's going to do well, if I if I have to guess. So yeah, we've got a flat grind. It's kind of a flat saber grind. You can see it comes up about halfway up the blade. And then it's got this interesting kind of ramp here, because most Emerson models have the wave, so they inherently have that ramp, but it usually leads to that snaggle tooth that catches it on the way out your pocket. But this one being an auto, obviously can't really have an auto and a wave feature. I don't think that could be <laughs> accomplished. Um, one thing that I'm noticing too right off the bat is this feels much lighter than I was expecting it to. I assume that's partially because of the G10. I don't know. It just feels like for its size, this is a, a pretty full-sized EDC knife. It's, it's surprising me how lightweight it is. I wonder how much weight savings there is for the, for the G10, but it feels great. It's very well balanced. I like that the clip side is just smooth aluminum, and then on the show side, I've got this little bit of grip from the G10. It feels really nice. It also kind of suits. Emerson's feel pretty tactical to me. And so the fact that it's got that little bit of extra grip, I don't necessarily mind, especially because this handle profile is really neutral. So I don't know. I don't mean to, to start jumping in and <laughs> quasi-reviewing or first impressioning this knife already, but just just kind of my, my first inspections thus far. Anyway, this is going to go right in my pocket. Came at a perfect time because I'm actually about to leave the house. Um, so... I'm not going to carry this. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to testing this. This is going to come up with me on my camping trip, which I leave on Monday morning. I'm filming this on Friday evening, so I'll probably go up tomorrow, Saturday. I would think. Yeah. So, 
Anyway, I will have a first impressions. It may be a while until you see that since I'll be uploading some videos and then leaving on my camping trip and then it'll probably be when I get back that you'll see it, but I'll most likely film that on my camping trip if I can get to it. Either way, this is going to be in pocket a fair bit out in the woods, I think, and uh, I'm looking forward to enjoying this. Again, thank you so much to Swags. I sincerely appreciate it. This is really cool. Uh, I've, I've, I've won some cool things in my life, but a Protec Emerson is up there. <laughs> this is really sweet. I really, really like it so far, uh, based on just getting it out of the box. So anyway, thank you guys so much for checking it out with me. This is the Protec CQC7A Emerson design, and it is pretty freaking awesome.